Week 16 of the NFL season rolls on here on Saturday. Got a full slate of games here for Christmas Eve, so let's jump right into it. Now, the first game we'll take a look at here on Saturday is the Lions taking on the Panthers. The Lions come into this game as the 19th overall team in the Hot Zipit Power Ranking. The Panthers are the 23rd overall team, and for better or worse, both these teams have actually had, you know, decent runs here as of late. Obviously, the Lions have been absolutely outstanding here the last two months of the season, winning six of their last seven games. That only loss came against the Bills by three points, that last second field goal on Thanksgiving. Overall, it's a Lions team that has just been playing great football. But for everything the Panthers have done to, to try and tank this season, um, they've won a few games as well. You know, didn't look great against the Steelers last week, but overall, Sam Darnold's first three starts um, here the season have not been terrible passing for over 500 yards and three touchdowns on the year for him um you know dj moore has been a decent receiver 678 yards five touchdowns for him devonta freeman you know taking over the rushing duties for christian mccaffrey certainly hasn't been what he was but still over 600 yards rushing for him on the season overall yeah it's a panthers offense that has struggled this season only putting up 19.7 points per game um, but they've certainly shown some life and have certainly you know bounced back and, and not given up here the past few weeks of the season but it's a lions team that has just been playing some great football as of late which is not something i expected to say um, about the lions at this point in the season but jared goff is looking really good 3600 yards on the season for him 23 touchdowns to go along with that armand ronte brown um, has been a strong receiver 974 yards and six touchdowns for him you throw in jamal williams and even deandre swift and you have a strong strong running back duo and an offense that is very very hard to slow down and overall the lions offensively have been able to hang with some of the best teams in the league putting up 26.4 points per game now the defensive side of things for the lions were ultimately you know their weak spot especially earlier in the season they've corrected a lot of that but giving up 26 points per game um, is certainly not the the defensive stat line you want but the panthers giving up 22.4 haven't been great on the defensive side of things either but despite the panthers looking better here the last few weeks um i think they're still going to struggle going up against a red hot lions team i mean the lions have really come together and and really have some core pieces i mean jared goff has really looked like a strong strong quarterback um and we know that he can be a good quarterback we know he's played well in the past and really with how they've looked and the direction this lions team are going i think they win this game pretty handily in carolina taking them minus two and a half here against the panthers now, quickly, before we get into the second game, I want to take a look at here on Saturday. If you haven't already checked out the website, head over to hottipbest.com. Got college basketball, college football, NFL, NBA, NHL, UFC, and horse racing picks being posted up there every single day. So make sure you take a look at all of that. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets account at Hot Tip Bets on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay up to date with all the content being posted over there. Follow my personal account at Hot Tip Bets Chris on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter to stay up to date with all the content that I'm putting out, as well as on Best Stamp, where you can get early access to all my picks and get a notification every single time that I place a bet. And last but definitely not least, if you're watching here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on here for Saturday. And let's get into the second game. The second game on Saturday is a bit of an interesting one. We got the Eagles taking on the Cowboys. The Eagles come into this game as the number one overall team in the odds of bet power ranking. The Cowboys are the third overall team. Um, but despite those rankings, obviously a uh, wrench got thrown into things earlier in the week. Um, Jalen Hurts out with a shoulder injury for this game. Um, you know, puts the, the one loss Eagles record in jeopardy for sure here in this game. And, and certainly not the game that anyone wanted to see here. Um, but it's an Eagles team that Jalen Hurts are not has found success this season i mean coming to this game following a great win over the bears and you know let's not crap on Gardner Minshew too much i mean yeah he's had some some decent successes in the nfl coming up to this point but more importantly he has a strong strong roster around him while jalen hurts was obviously the the core piece and you know the mvp caliber guy that was holding it all together um there is still a lot of talent to be had up and down this roster aj brown has been an absolute great receiver all season here for for the Eagles leads him in receiving Devonta Smith right behind him. Both those two have been very, very good, and they'll miss a little bit of the Jalen Hurts running game for sure. But offensively, it's an Eagles team that I don't think is going to be hurting too bad. You know, yeah, they're probably not going to be putting up 29.4 points per game like they were with Hurts on the field. Um, but Gardner Minshew is more than capable of leading this Eagles team to some success. And it's a Cowboys team that has had some struggles as of late. You know, coming to this game following the loss to the Jaguars and. As good as Dak Prescott has looked at times this year, 
I'm just not super sold on him. I don't think Dak Prescott is the greatest quarterback that he's being touted up to be. You know, 2,100 yards on the season for him, sure. Um, CD Lamb's been a great receiver with over a thousand yards on the season, but I think a large part of the success from the Cowboys this season really comes more from the rush game. Tony Pollard has been great, rushing for 969 yards on the season. Obviously, Ezekiel Elliott uh, has been, you know, involved in the running game as well this season. And offensively, it's a Cowboys team that on the year has been just as good as the Eagles, putting up 28 points one points per game um and who knows what this game will end up looking like but defensively is two solid solid teams um the eagles are only allowing 19.1 points per game the cowboys giving up 19.2 points per game um and while obviously jalen hurts is out and, and gardner minch is getting the start here um i just don't see this game being as big of a blowout as people are expecting now i think the cowboys while are still a good team i think they still have some weaknesses i think they still have some struggles and i'm really just not sold on dak prescott nearly as much as a lot of people are going into this game i think the eagles are able to keep this one close they still have a lot of core pieces around on this team a lot of talent to be had taking them plus six here against the cowboys